Is that card's not out yet, is it? Uh, I have. There's a price for it, so I guess it's out. I think it was in Cross Souls. Anyway, nice. welcome back, people. More DMDO commentary. So we have Slate here. We have Slate here. And we have Yugo Mastery here. Oh yes. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> So it has been a while since you have been on for uh, DM. Well, I don't know. It's just a rotation, is it? Isn't it? Like uh, most of the time, it's a rotation. I just see like, all right, who's who's been last. Sometimes, depending, uh, we might have interruptions, and you know, occasionally we'll squeeze in Lunar every once in a millennium. <laughs> well, I don't. Maybe this is just me, but like, I, I think I I think like mine are good. Like, like, I think my commentary. Oh, I think are, mine are the best because I'm yeah. fucking awesome. I don't know. I don't know if they're the best because I don't really watch other people's, but I know that. How conceited are you? Well, mine are the best because I'm the only one that watches <laughs> mine. So. I don't know. I, I just have fun doing them, man. I don't know. It's interesting. All right. So we got uh, Bot01 uh, with uh, 1079 clearly. 250 reviews. bucks? What? Yeah, they really want you to purchase that Dante. Shit. Using spiritual beasts versus right it looks like right code's owner. You're like, okay, well I guess using Burning Bits and milling, you know, you use that Dante to mill through the exact amount that right code mill. <laughs> With thirteen forty eight using Burning Abyss. So how do you feel about Burning Abyss? Uh, I'm not the person to ask, but I mean I, I they did better than uh they did better than um Chidals, so <laughs> At the YCS at Columbus. No, I'm, I'm starting. Like I said, I'm starting to fall out of love with the deck. I hate the milling factor. <laughs> I, I, okay. So yeah, I know that. I know that they're not okay. Hmm, how do I put this? They're less good than they were, but I, I, I still think they're they're fine. Like I think they're okay. Like I think you could go to or like a regional and, and top eight with, with Burning Abyss. Um. But what I was saying was. At Columbus or whatever, did you see the top thirty-two? Oh, okay. It's gonna go to the flip of the venue. No, what was the top thirty-two? The a top whole thirty-two bunch of of Columbus. <laughs> yeah, I don't know the I don't know the the whole breakdown, but I know there is zero Shadals. Hmm. And and Columbus and at Columbus top top cut was played with your deck. You know what I mean? Like it wasn't draft, so. Yeah, at Columbus they didn't do that. Was that yeah. all right? The, we got the 150th, 150th, yeah. Yeah, let's just start just doing that. Just play your deck. Mhm. Mm well, I think it's just a one-time thing, but maybe after this, um, because obviously the the season per se is almost over with nationals coming up. For for uh for the North American nationals, is in like. Two, four, three weeks. Yeah, three weeks. I think. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I just, I just disconnected. Sorry. <laughs> mm. <laughs> You're not missing much. You just use the pedal, pedal fin to go ahead and bounce the Dante. Then he's gonna activate that steeds. Can you send me the thing again? Yeah, sure. Hold on. Oh, I guess it's right. So, he's using them that steed. Get rid of the monsters. Get rid of that vanities. Vanities. Yep. Damn. Will we actually see the power to... of the Tamers? Well, I mean, he just went really plus. <laughs> yeah. So, um, the guy only has three cards, and he's about to have three as well, but, you know, the, the Banner Zone and the Graveyard are pretty usable when you're playing Ritual Beasts. So. Mm -hmm. I don't really like Ritual Beasts. They remind me way too much of uh, Inferno Beasts. And with that, he has gone plus. So this would be the fourth card. And grab its ambush. Burning Abyss I used to like because you know I'm a control duelist and I really like the control aspect that you know using, being able to use them trap cards uh, that you generally don't use because you neg, but with Burning Abyss you don't. But now mm -hmm. you know it's so reliant on Dante and you know the Burning Abyss. Besides the main three, the other Burning Abyss really don't feel like they're worth it. You know. Yeah, I don't know. I think that they don't plus you like like the main three do. do. And then yeah, the main which means the that I don't want to yeah I don't want to run them as much. And then that means I'm gonna run more back row. But then I mill the back row, and you already know how I feel about milling and over us. Just like ugh. <laughs> yeah, if you play a mill deck, like I'm experienced with with <laughs> mill decks, but yeah, you know you have to you have to build it in a way that the uh, 
the balance between cards that you want to draw and cards that you want to mill is pretty, you know, pretty good. It's for, for milling because you're going to be milling more than you're going to be drawing. So. I hate doing that. And then says the guy who's trying out probably, probably in my opinion, one of the most complicated uh, mill decks in the game right now. What's that? Infernoids. It's hard. Yeah. To it's hard to get the balance, you know. You I want, think that... you want to run the light sworn monsters to mill, but then you want to run enough for charge. But you don't want to run too many because then you might hit the light sworn early with your reasoning. It's just like uh... Infernoid, Infernoid is a whole different deal though because they have like some, you know, obviously the and other decks haven't been using these cards, but they just came off the ban list uh, reasoning and in, 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 in Japan, Monster Gate came up to three, so yeah, uh, those cards are being. I think, I think the power of Inferno lies in the fact that they pretty much have, like, the spirit of the Dragon Ruler in them. <laughs> that being able to banish yes. the summon from the graveyard, it's probably one of the they key just, things that make the Dragon Ruler so powerful. Yeah, they, they just can't swarm because of the level restriction. Yeah, that's probably the reason why they put the level restriction. They want yeah. to be too much like Dragon Rulers who just swarm, plus they got some really decent monsters. And they're also anti-meta because they can banish from the graveyard. I'd say the only problem with them is they're just so hurt by like almost every floodgate. <laughs> yeah, floodgates need to be taken care of. I don't know. Everybody's I, enjoying I, that lose one turn, aren't they? <laughs> well, I I like I like like macro and deep fissure, but I think the problem is that every every deck is graveyard based. That's, like, and whose fault is that? Konami. It's yeah, it's Konami's fault. All right, and it's so Konami's fault because up. generally, when you look at it, graveyard-based decks last longer because they float and are generally stronger. So to make well, yeah, yeah, of course they they have more they have access to more cards at any given time because the graveyard is, you know, I guess the term the common term is a second hand, but you know what I mean. They have the utilization for the cards in their graveyard. Oh shit, crush cards. Oh, oh man. Oh man. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> that's the re that's the, what it's at least three and he gets to look at the card in his hand right or did he yeah, search that yeah, he gets to look at the card in his hand because it was darn nice. face. that's three of the cards in the field it's 15 and up right 15, yep. oh wow yep 15 and up damn that's that's shitty wow yeah. I guess it's good for Ryko's owner but <laughs> shitty for bots zero mm -hmm. been looking at a ton of people's ban list predictions because people's you know predictions are starting to pop up you uh, think crush card is going to get hit someone no not me Someone did. Uh, okay. Like crush card band. I'm like, yeah. That's, well, ah oh, man, because I mean, I crush card's still good, obviously. Crush but... card is good, but the thing that made it broken was that locking you down for three turns. Mm -hmm. This is just a one-time thing. Yep. It's basically like, it's sort of like torrential, but you get hand access. That's that's different. Yeah. yeah. And it's and it's. It's chainable, but you have to have a tribute, so that's that's why it's, it's mm -hmm. weird. But if you're playing Burning Abyss, the tribute doesn't matter because you get an effect. Yeah. What, what was in his hand? What was in his hand? Uh, it? Another elder. All right. So that's the two hundred one. Mm -hmm. The one that's already on the field. He has another one in his hand. Cool, cool. You know, I I already know how I felt about looking in the hand. I still think mine crush is busted. Uh, mind hacksaws. If you don't want to go ahead and play that, <laughs> I mean, it's not good, but it, it is hand access. So yeah. I, mean, I don't know. And I feel like power. if they if they hit Mind Crush and all the other hand access cards, and there's a deck that's like specifically hand hand based, you know what I mean? Like, not just search based, but like hand based. I, I don't know. Mind Hacksworth is a card that I've always had an eye on because yeah, it lets you, you look at their set cards too. So like, yeah, you, a lot you of neg for knowledge. I mean, and knowledge is power. Yeah. Yeah, knowledge is power. It's also a thousand life points, but life points don't matter. <laughs> yeah, life points don't mean shit. I guess, I guess, I guess for a Klee player they do. What I was hearing, the most annoying cards in Yu-Gi-Oh all cost eight hundred life points. Um, we yeah, got I can see that. brain control. We got premature burial. We got uh, royal oppression and uh, and Klee tool or whatever it's called. Scout. <laughs> Scout, yeah, I don't know why the hell I call it. I mean, Tool is its old name, but like, I don't know why I haven't moved on to Scout by now. <laughs> it's been a while. Yeah, it definitely looks like that crush card turn, turn the duel around, the power. Yeah. yeah I, thought, I thought the bot was going to have it. Game one, but well, the, the crush card it. did what the Steeds did for the other guy. Yep. Ooh! Solemn! Yeah, but he still gets his effect, though. Damn. He's still gonna get all of them effects. Thing with Solemn. 
No, nah, Solemn's good. I know, but when you just look not at against, it, yeah, just not against Brendan Guess. Solemn's good this format. Mm -hmm. Some people say it's not, but I disagree. Yep. Oh, man. I would say I think Solemn's the. I think Warning's the bad one. I think Warning's the one that should be banned. And you always disagree with me. We we talk about this like every every episode, so we don't need to go into that again. But I don't know. I don't like Warning. <laughs> I think warning is fine. I yeah. won't. We talk about it a lot. All right. So we got the graph and we got the end phase. So the big problem with judgment is that you can play it whenever, and that doesn't matter if you're in a winning or losing yeah. situation. It's always good. I think bot zero one is gonna need another combo piece to do much. Yeah. What is it? Does this thing do anything on the field? Like, is it? I know Leo has an effect in the field, but yeah, no. This this is basically normal monster. Yeah. He's one of the key it's, cards to the combo to start off with, but it's not doing yeah, anything by itself. It's like caster. It's only a turn and summon thing. Oh, there's an. Oh yeah, we knew he had that. Let's see if he has one to combo with it. Ooh, the Zephra. They all play this. I think they play one. Breakthrough skill on what? On the on the penguin. Okay. Okay. How many penguins do they have in their deck? <laughs> Is it just? I think they play one. No, I'm saying like, there's that other. There's Rampengu also. Oh, oh yeah. That's this, true. this is this is Zephyr and Pil I'm saying how many penguin cards do they play? <laughs> Enough. To like play how many penguins, different penguin soldier man? You don't even know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> penguin soldier man. Well, I don't know because penguins are technically a deck since there's that puny penguin thing. Mm-hmm. But these wouldn't count because they don't say penguin in the name, which is too bad. They should make penguins a thing. <laughs> they should make penguins a thing. <laughs> I mean, this guy is having a hard time. Well, I mean, that breakthrough scale hurt. Good, yeah, good card. Yeah, because he wanted to go ahead and uh, use oh. the tamer to go ahead and summon some graveyard. Ooh, and there's Virgil. So you know, I, I know what you're talking about, but you know, my school year is over, so um, hopefully gonna be. This is just getting me really excited to play Yu-Gi-Oh. Is all I'm saying because I'm going to Nats. I'm going to. I have my invite and shit, so I'm gonna go to Nats and play Necros, so. Or hopefully Necros. Depends on if I can get back you got in your invite? Huh? Because you got your invite? Yeah. Well, I got, yeah, so I'm just, I don't know. All I'm saying is that this, watching this duel is getting me excited to play meta. Yeah. I don't know. Dual beasts are, are, are interesting. Do you, okay, there was an ARG a while ago. I don't think you really watch live streams of, of ARGs, do you? Not really, so. There was a, oh, how old was he? It was like an 11 year old or a 10 year old or something playing Ritual Beasts and he missed top cut, like he, he, he was um, X2 and he lost in the last round. So, it's too bad. But they uh, they had him on the feature match for two of the rounds because he was playing Ritual Beasts and he was, he was killing people, you know, so that was pretty fun to watch. Oh. Yeah, well, there's a good one. <laughs> Alright, we'll be right back with round two. Alright. Well, what's your... Well, never mind. Right. I was going to ask what's your cup of tea. I don't know. Alright, we're back. So, round two. Let's see if uh, Mr. Ritual Beast can take it to round, uh, uh, you know, round three. You know, you know what I just noticed? He's uh, Burning Abyss guy's playing 45 cards. Oh. Oh, he is. Interesting. I guess he's trying... Very, to... very uncommon. I mean... Whoops. Sorry. <laughs> no, okay, wait, what are you doing? <laughs> that was Vexicus's channel trailer. Or not his channel trailer, but his featured video or whatever. It just automatically played. That was my fault. Hmm. I closed the tab. So he's, All running, right. he's running a lot of the Burning Abyss monsters. Uh, uh, but wait, only only Dante will get his effect, right? Because the other two, or only Dante and Waterfall will get their effect. Because he normal summoned, right? He didn't. He special summoned a Lich, I think. Okay. He normal summoned the first one, so. Yeah, so. He gets Dante, and he gets uh, a Lich, or he gets Graf. Yeah, Dante and Graf. Yes, he gets Dante and Graf. Yes, that is true. All right, so Graf's for Seer. <laughs> it's mm. turn two, so he can't attack. Oh yep. man. Yep. Oh but, man. That opened up just terrible. Oh, another another another, another Dante. Yeah. He opened up with that sound in the morning. This is but... a weird thing, but. The people named Dante at my school, we call them Tay. So I just, I've, I've, I don't know. Should I start calling Dante Tay? 
<laughs> so look, at that. look at the males. I, I, yeah. I just can't stand it. It hurts Skill drain and, and what, what was that other one? Divine Wrath? Divine Wrath. And I guess. I used to have. Divine Wrath, does, Divine Wrath stops activations, right? Yeah. That's a really good card. I like that card. Yeah, I really like that card in Burning Abyss, too. It's any activation, not just on the field, right? Yep, any activation. I like that card, man. Oh, man. This card, Bryo. I'd probably say it's like my favorite of this card tapes right now. Man. Go Ooh. Throw the Regeki at him. Damn. I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say anything. Fire Lake! Damn. Oh. Killer. Double Steeds! That's, that's oh. Damn. Whew. Man, I'm sorry, Bob. You just opened up terribly. Like I said, that's wrong. That's a problem with that deck. No chance. No chance. Crazy. That is the problem with that deck is that if if you don't open up with uh with your uh your contact fusion early and get your combo going, you you just you just slow. You're not you're not fast enough. You can get outpaced. Yeah. No. What's uh, your do you think, uh, what's your do you think Rich will be, sir? There are two. They're high tier too. That's, I agree. I agree. I yeah. say, if, you, if you count, if you count one point five, I put them as one point five. I don't usually, but that's fine. <laughs> yeah. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they're, they're, they're they're up there because uh, they're good enough to top. They've seen they've seen a handful of tops. I'd say they're like deck number five. Well, okay. Let's let's. We got we got Necros. Uh, we got Klee. We got Keller Knights. We got. I'd say Shardals are stronger than them. Shit, well, Rich, I was talking about Columbus earlier. Um, Steve, or, Rich will be top that. <laughs> and then Shadows did not, so, I don't know. Uh, that's just a thing to consider. That's just one example, though. Generally, Shadows yeah, well, But no, it's one example of the biggest tournament in, like, ten years. So, I think that's a pretty good, accurate representation of what's good, is all mm. I'm trying to say. What was the I, I know what you're saying. Like, I understand it's only one event, but it's also a huge event. What were the so, numbers? I'm like, assuming there were more Shadal players then. Like, uh, I don't know about that. Ritual, ritual, Beast. Beast, ritual Beast have like a cult following. Like people who like Ritual Beasts are like so adamant about Ritual Beast being amazing. So yeah, I'm not saying that they're bad. Saying yeah, 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 yeah. I know. Uh, I'm trying to look for this. I said any deck that reminds you of fucking Infernities has to be good. Top 32 breakdown. That's Toronto. I can't find. Yeah, watch his bright in. I can't find Columbus. Whatever. Um, all I know is that Shadal's had zero and Ritual Beast had not zero. I think they had one. <laughs> all right. It was probably something like that. I think it was one. Uh, top 32 breakdown. Oh, no, it's Las Vegas. Damn it. I can't find Whatever. It's stu this is stupid. It's, it's stupid just, like, searching for it. I don't want to waste time. Are we going to do another dueler? Yeah. That, no, no, not in this video. This video's done. Oh, okay, then we can, we can take some time. How, how, what, how many minutes do we have? 18 minutes. And so we're just kind of just sitting here talking. All right, we're chilling. Yeah. So, like I said, you, you just need to open up better with Ritual Beast. You definitely do. Yeah. Uh, What's the combo? What's the two-card thing? Not Stick Chair. That's <laughs> Star Saris. But I know that Ritual Beasts have their little two-card combo. Uh, Generally, it's the old man who will give you an additional normal summon, then you summon a beast, and then you can go and start doing your Kanahawk combos. All right. Kanahawk, that's his name. Is it Kanahawk or Kanahawk? I don't know. It's probably Kanahawk. I've, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I, well, the reason I specified it is because I thought you said Tomahawk. I was like, what? And then I realized that you were talking about the little bird thing. Searchy bird. <laughs> Searchy bird, yes. I've heard that before, too. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, him, so. The, he, he, it's like the core of the deck, especially since it can chain to itself. I found the um, top 32 for YTS Columbus. We yep. got a... Uh, that twenty plant synchro, six agents, one chaos, one glad beast, one what power year? Curry, what year is this? CG, one miracle Gemini, and what one is this like two thousand eleven? Two thousand eleven, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How did that come up before the actual one I'm looking for? Like this is so that's so I'm, I'm I gave up. It's so stupid. It's so stupid oh my actual, god. This year is YCS Columbus. Uh, for a second there, when you said like twenty like synchro plants, it's like wait, don't you mean twenty <laughs> necros? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll go ahead. Right. So of course we will be back tomorrow with another episode of. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! I'm not not even joking. I just found it. Not joking. Okay. All right.
66 it's in percentages for some reason 66 percent necroz 16 percent burning abyss 12 percent clee 3 percent ritual beast 3 percent stellar hmm. so i don't know what that translates to in numbers but top 32 breakdown 66 percent necroz 16 burning abyss 12 clee 3 ritual beast 3 stellar so yep that's uh that's probably like one deck three percent yeah seems like it like I said, you could do the math with people to be equal to over 100, but fuck that shit. Yeah. <laughs> School's out for me. Well, I get summer work too, but you're actually taking summer classes, but yeah. We, uh, right. I hate that class. <laughs> all right. Well, we'll see you guys tomorrow with more DM to commentary. Thanks for watching.